super excited. I love your shirt. Thank you. Is that a handprint? Yeah. <laughs> really like it is that on the cover of one of your books i feel like I, I, i've been attached it to you somehow in some way uh, you know what i feel like i use it so much and like it it just became my branding it's good i'm super excited i'm gonna start by having you introduce yourself and tell us all about you all right so i am tony larue i am a thriller horror suspense author um I've been writing, I've been writing for a long time. I would say seriously, probably the like, like seven, eight years. So I'm not living in Las Vegas now. Married, no children. Oh, how's Las Vegas? I've never been there. I love it. I would say if you've never been, you you have to come at least once. Okay. Okay. I don't yeah, know. It's growing. That's like the first thing I think is like gambling. So I, that's probably why I never went really. It's so much more you can do. <laughs> it's like entertainment capital. It's all kind of stuff you can do out here. I never gamble. I never even go to the strip. Really? Okay. Really. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm you gonna have to. Try. It's fun. Just to get us started. Here, let me see. But I thought it was hilarious when I got that email this morning and it was like book recommendations for you. And it just was so crazy to me that it literally was your book popping up. I, I know, was that like, was so weird. ironic. Yeah, I was like, I wonder if Google like has heard me like talking to her so much and that's what- No, that is no telling. You know, they listen to us. I, I don't know. When did you start writing? I want to say, like, as far as long as I can remember, um, since I've been a child, um, I had, I want to say I published my first book, maybe 2012, um, and then I took a break for a while, and then I, I want to say I started off maybe four or five years after that, and then, and start really taking it serious, because I would, like, write, release the book, and then not think about it for a while, and then write, release the book, and I think about it for a while. Then I was like, you know, I can't, you know, if I really want to do this, um, you know, full time, then I, I I need to take it seriously. So, you know, I've been trying to be consistent. I feel like you have been super consistent. I do feel like out of a lot of the authors that I've seen, I feel like you are very good with making sure that you're consistently posting, you're consistently making content. I also noticed it seems like you network a lot. So I think that's why, too, your books are taking off the way that they are. Because I'm just like, she is everywhere. Like, when I get on TikTok, I see your videos. When I get on Facebook, I see you. So that's why I'm like, she is really, like, she's doing it. So that's what really made me get interested in your books in the first place. Because I was like, this woman is everywhere. <laughs> networking is key I would say like before when I was doing it I would you know I would just I, I say I think most authors are introverts right so mm -hmm. I was just like I just want to write my book I don't need to talk to nobody I just want to put my book out and mind my business but that wasn't really working you know so um you know after a while I was just like you know I need to kind of get in in the mix you know um and, and I just kind of start genuinely interacting with other authors um and then it just kind of took off from there that's what it seems like so you definitely inspired me because I'm like when I see like video after video I'm like listen I need to be writing I need to be posting you encourage me to do way more so I definitely wanted to give you your flowers on that because Thank Everywhere you. I look, either it's your book, it's one of your like I like you said the T-shirt, the logo. Like I really attached that handprint now to you. That's so crazy. <laughs> so it's like as soon as I saw it, I was like, maybe it's on a book cover or something. But you're definitely doing it. So that's what made me be like, I need to, I need to speak with her because I have to figure out what is the secret sauce that she has. It's that consistency, networking. You know, I feel like those two things are the most important. So what inspires your work? 
you know what? It's not just one thing, actually. Like, I could just be, a lot of times I like to go for, like, walks by myself, and it'll kind of trigger um something. But there's nothing really that would just be like, oh, this is, like, so inspirational to me. Maybe, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a movie or a, even maybe reading another book may um kind of um give me ideas for something to work on but nothing really um specifically with the flow if you could co-write a book with any author living or deceased who would it be eric jerome dickey <laughs> that's but one of my favorite authors amazing absolutely um i just remember my mom reading so many of his books and like you just saw his books everywhere at walmart you saw them in the library like yeah, that's a really good choice. That's a really good choice. So dope, like so dope. Yeah. Can you describe your writing space? Like, what does your writing space look like when you sit down? Girl, I'm embarrassed. My writing space is wherever I'm at. Like, <laughs> I could be tucked um in, in the corner of the couch. I can be on the chair. I can be upstairs on the bed. Like, it's just, it's, it's just wherever I'm at. That day is usually where I write. I really do want like a cute little office though, but I feel like I'm gonna get it all decked out and then I won't ever be in there. Avoiding the room. I don't know. That's that's you probably, know. Yeah, that's probably what would happen. Like for me at least, I feel like I would associate that room with like it would be a very serious time. So I'd probably be like, I'll go there later. But what books do you enjoy reading? So my my favorite um is crime thrillers. So I love crime thrillers. Um, I will say psychological thrillers may be next on the list, but I prefer um listening to psychological thrillers on audiobook for some reason. I think it's more so like the first person. I like it better when I'm listening to it. Um, but my go to is definitely crime thrillers. I have definitely dibbled and dabbled more into that. And especially, like you said, listening to audiobooks. Um, I'm not at that place yet where I'm paying for an Audible subscription. I really want to mm -hmm. become one of those people. But I have been listening to a lot on that, that app, Libby, where you can just plug yes. in your library card. That is a game. Stay, yeah, stay there. I do I do Libby and I do Hoopla. Stay there. Because I feel like I they have Audible has um the same things Libby and Hoopla have. So don't spend that money. Yeah. That. What would be your favorite book that you've read this year? Next to Ken by um Kia Abdullah. And I did a review on it on my TikTok. That book was really good. But I actually listened to the audio book and so I think the narrator really um did a great job. But that has been my favorite so far. What is one thing that you wish your readers knew about you? Mm. That's a good question. Let me think. Maybe that I'm I'm really silly. Like I'm a silly, goofy person. <laughs> I feel like my books are so serious, but I'm really silly. <laughs> and I yeah. laugh all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I'm the same way. I'm very like goofy, very outgoing at times, but then I have my super introverted moments where the house is just silent and I'm like, this is this is peace. Like this is this is life, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. It is. It is. Yep. Do you have a preference on your books being listed with Kindle Unlimited or with them just being at a set rate with Amazon? Right now I'm still um growing my readership. I prefer the books to be on Kindle Unlimited because I know for me, like if I see a new author, I may and I want to spend that money until I know for sure I like that offer. So I think it gives um it gives people the option if they're curious about me and my writing style for them, you know, because it's it's free with your um subscription. So, you know, it kind of gives people the option to check me out without having to invest, you know, the coin. Yeah, I think that's why I enjoy Kindle Unlimited too. But I do know that I've been seeing a lot of conversation of authors saying like they want to transition away from just using, you know, Kindle Unlimited for their books. I feel right now is where it's working for me, you know, and I can understand um people wanting to venture out because you don't want to have your eggs all in one basket. So I, I get that completely. 
Um, eventually I do want to transition to at least um like selling my paperbacks uh through a website, my own website. Um, but I think for now, um, like I said, since I'm still growing my readership, I think it's important. Amazon is one of the biggest platforms um for authors, for indie authors specifically. So I, I'm I'm not gonna just rip my books from there, you know, not right now. Which book do you have coming out soon that you're excited about? This, I want to say my first few releases will be a part of a couple of collaborations. One I can't speak about right now. Um, and then another one is, I don't even know if I can really say anything. Let me Just think. Give us a dibble and dabble, the least you can. <laughs> this is going to be with my uh, with my girls, Tanisha Stewart, Octavia Grant, um, Kenya Mossheim, and Kira N. James. We are working on a great thriller horror series that's that's all i can say right now oh you got me excited i'm gonna get my money ready <laughs> and i'm so excited about this it's gonna be dope yes i am super excited about it um so i'm glad you gave us that little sprinkle right there because now i'm like once i see those books roll out like i'm on it no <laughs> thank you like events that you're attending this year or author events that you'll be at? Not this year. I do plan on next year. I do want to attend at least two next year. But um this year I really just wanted to kind of focus on writing. So I just been um I just been kind of MIA. That's okay because I feel like you have to have a balance with both. You know, it's great to show up and show out at the events, but that does take a lot of like it takes a lot on you, you know, being in that environment with so many different personalities. Yes. <laughs> you want it to be perfect. So definitely making sure that you're you're still working on your craft and stuff. I feel like it's just as important. And then you network so much online. Like, you know, you know yes. where can readers find you on social media and with your books? All my books are available on Amazon. So uh, most of them have paperbacks. They're all available um on kindle unlimited for uh social media i'm most active on um tiktok and facebook so tiktok it's um let me think it's tony larue the author and then facebook is just tony larue and then it's tony larue with an i um so those are the two places where i'm the most active i'm rarely on IG. <laughs> It seems like people are really transitioning away from IG. Um, I don't know. I think TikTok has taken over. TikTok it's has taken cool. over. Here are all the old, this mm -hmm. still in all your identity. So yeah. it took me forever to get on TikTok. And then I just kept hearing everybody was like, you know, oh, book talk is the best. They're so supportive. I was like, well, let me see what's going on over there. And I absolutely fell in love with the community over there. Like, they are amazing. That's what I've noticed is there's a lot of support. Like, I don't feel like I get the mean girl energy on TikTok that you get on other platforms. <laughs> no, you really don't. Like, they are great. Like, I, you know, I'm building some good um, relationships over there. They are amazing. I do want to thank you so much for coming on here and for letting us get to know you better because I was like, I really need to, I have to speak with this woman. Like she is going above and beyond with her book. She's networking like crazy. And like I said, you've inspired me. So that's why I was oh, like, thank you. you. Yes. Thank you for having me. Thank you so Thanks. much. You don't know how much, how much this stuff means to me. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Oh, don't make the Pisces in me cry, please. <laughs> it's so early in the day. Well, thank you so much again. And I'm going to be in touch with you. I'm definitely going to download that book that I got an email for. So go ahead. And I, I can't wait to hear your thoughts about it. It's <laughs> one of my favorite books. <laughs> oh, see, and I always wonder that when it comes to authors, do we really have a favorite book that we wrote or do we treat them all like they're our babies? But I think we do have some preferences. At the time when we're writing, they're all our babies. But I feel like <laughs> we, we have fun with more over over the others, you know, some of the characters, you know, because the characters are different. So some characters are just way more fun to write. Absolutely. I agree with you on that. I agree. Um. 
I don't know. That pretty much is all of my questions. I want to thank you again for coming and for talking with me and for letting us get to know you better. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right. I'll be in touch with you soon. All right. Have a good one. You too.